These artworks were not made by human hand. They are the work of an artificial intelligence system called Boto. Created by German artist Mario Klingmann, the project is based on the taste of 5,000 people. In just five weeks, pieces have been sold for nearly 900,000 euros. That's how Boto creates its art. It creates a sentence, feeds that into a neural network, and gets an image back. And that neural network has seen more art, more images than any single human being around. So every week, the community votes on these fragments. And at the end of each week, one gets chosen to be art. And that will be auctioned off as an NFT on a platform called Super Rare, where some collectors can, can buy it. A non-fungible token is a unique identity of data stored on the blockchain. This director of an auction house has noticed the rise of interest in these digital forms. I think the digital artwork and the blockchain world now is so interesting. In the world of art, artists are interested in creating digital artworks and logically the collectors are interested as well. And I think it's important that the collectors buy the first pieces that are being done in this format and with this technology. Boto engineers say their project is a mixture between collective and artificial intelligence. According to them, Boto could be soon able to write music or books.